happen no matter what you said. Yes. You could offer to hear 50 grand. Don't say nothing. No, no. There's a lot of people I've been wanting to say this to. So they this, don't get it. This dude just so, came in my inbox and said, I just found out about you through Tahir Zooming with homies. Hey, man, you're funny. You ever thought like doing sketches or like doing sketches or shit? You ever thought about it? I was like, I appreciate it, man. I'm going to look into it. And I just, that's it. it, just, that's it. <laughs> so listen, everybody, this, this, this just happened. To hear more, look, I love your content, but you have way too many ads. You're literally doing infomercials now with skits in between. I pay for no ads on all my streaming services, but I have to suffer through 11 of your shits on a 30 minute video. I can't even finish Squadcast anymore. He goes on. He attaches three three more to this. He said, it's literally worse than product placement. If people like you enough, the money will come. You don't need to sell us things that we don't even care about in these times right now. You selling cologne like niggas going out and shit. Selling paint. Like- <laughs> That's right, you mad. Because you got a couple paintings. singers in there. <laughs> <laughs> Selling paintings like an eviction crisis isn't going on. Selling what? He's out of work and you selling $45, $60 underwear. I'm only saying this because I love the content. I really do. <laughs> the ass take away from the enjoyment. It's like watching TV. When a commercial comes on, I change the channel. Why don't you promote your other content instead? You can be number one what? with no ass. Just leave. Just, so just wait. leave? You wanted, just, he wanted your ads. You, you wanted the ad break to be like, all right, now that I have your attention, to hear more. <laughs> Follow my Instagram. I'm paying myself for this. <laughs> Let me say I, this for everyone that does not understand the concept of a business. You have to make money. I know that you guys enjoy all the content that All Dev puts out. Don't and explain this to here. I have that, to, he's Pat. Tripping. I have to, he's Pat, tripping. because he's, here. A, he's not the only person. And in his, this is a teachable moment. He's not the only person. Other people have been thinking it. They just didn't say it. So I'm just going to say there it. There are crazy people. Uh, the I've internet. never seen you be light skinned yeah. until this moment to here. I've never seen you. Here, let, let, his, let this man get this anger off. Y'all stop. <laughs> Tell him to here. Get him. Get him, Ty. What's gonna happen once you once you get it off? He's going to reply. Now I think you took it the wrong way. It's gonna be another email. <laughs> yes. Tell there him to go. stop Let's watching. It. It's gonna be another email, and yeah, then, and yeah, we send that email out. You are gonna get another email from somebody else. <laughs> but hey, I'm only gonna address it once. You're not though. You think I am. That, I, listen, I let am, me tell I am, you. I am. I am. I'm only gonna address listen, it once. What's up, Patrick? How you doing, Meg? <laughs> hey. 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 Uh, okay, yeah. You're you're you think in addressing it one, and this is coming from me who has felt the way you felt and have done what you're about to do. It, it's gonna make you feel better for a second, and in three yeah. seconds, somebody else is gonna say that, and they didn't see your thing, and you're gonna be like, I already talked about it. It's like Tony with the Chiefs hat. No matter what you do, every day somebody's gonna be like, Ain't you from Chicago? Why yeah. are you wearing a Chiefs hat? What you can Tony with the Chiefs hat thing. When he goes walking, he wears his, uh, a, a, his son, he wears his son's high school um, hat. Got it. But okay. it looks like a chief's hat. Got it. Okay. So yeah. No matter what his video is about, people be like, why are you wearing a chief's hat? Are you from Chicago? Better, here's, better, what better. I, here's what I love about it. I love the the tone of like, all right, to here, sit down. I'm about to, I'm about to teach you. Something. <laughs> the, the almost like the the master class type of tone. That's, that's just what like got to hear. all right. <laughs> you got it all wrong with all these advertisements. You know, yeah. we're not. We don't care about that part of it. What you should do is advertise your own stuff because we're checking out to here. And like you were supposed to be like, you know what? I never thought of it like that, brother. Let me pay for your subscription class. Like. <laughs> I just, I just tell them to stop watching. Make it easier because here's the messed up thing: people like that never complain to like companies. Only like this one-on-one thing. Like I don't want to, I don't want to watch ads for you. But he, he's watching ads on YouTube and all these other things that he's not paying premium. Oh, for. Pat, he pays so that he doesn't have to have ads. No, I, I heard that flex, but when he I'm said, sure I, he's not I, writing. I say this with love. I did, and I say this with love. <laughs> Anywho, you know what? <laughs> Don't worry Anywho. about it. It's Let here. him have it. Load the clip up, Tier. Load the clip up. Load that clip up and unload it. 
Let them have it. Let them have I, it. I, I, I don't think people realize how many people work at All Def and how the company makes money. I think that's what it is. I think people just realize, oh, here's this group of people who just make cool videos. They don't think about the editing that goes into it, the payroll of the staff and all of that. Did you pull it up? No, I'm gonna read something I, uh, I tweeted the other day. I'm gonna read it because I feel like it, it applies to right now. And this is, uh, I say this with love. It says, uh, when social media dictates your emotions, you really don't have any friends in real life. I have y'all be mad. I said, have y'all be mad yelling to the camera to people you never go meet. I said, you the fool, not them, carry on. I don't mean this disrespectfully, but it's the same thing. You don't know this man. Like, don't even let him affect your day. Just be like, whatever, and just keep it pushing. Just keep it pushing. Say, you the, think the quickest thing to say is we don't we don't listen to stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't listen to like, stuff I, like I don't that. understand why it's so hard to like, can yeah. you click through the ads that to hear does? They are not only can you do that, Megan. You can easily fast forward. You, you can you fast can, forward. You, you can, can you can control uh, it. You can uh, literally mute. You, you can mute your laptop. You can go get you a cup of water while the ad is going. You have a lot of options. Oh, to hear he said you're doing infomercials with Stit Bricks. <laughs> that, was <funny. laughs> that was funny. That was funny. Let me funny. stop to tell you a few jokes. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna reply. I'm just gonna reply. No. Just double tap him it. to hear. Yeah. Block block him. No, uh, you know what I do to Don't people that. Don't at all. Just block no, him. No, 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 no. What, what you need to do is you need to go ahead and report him as bully, bullying and harassment. That's what okay. I do for everybody no, that no, puts anything. That, I don't care what. It, why? The, the why? Not the really will, more than likely. He is harassed. Just, look, you y'all saw Tahir's freckles turn colors, which means he was feeling harassed. Listen, I'm so to going, hear you, I have all the ads on like one clip. I'm just gonna string them all together, and I'm gonna just respond with a two minute and twenty second video of, of just ads. Now that's <laughs> that's how you get them back. Upload a video Boom. called "Adding is Hard," and it's just all ads. It's and then you do like one word game, and then it's all ads. <laughs> Adding is hard. You should make a disc record. You should make a disc record. I'm not doing any of that, man. Bless him. <laughs> all. It's just. Did you respond? I didn't respond. I'm, I'm going to do the video thing that I said. I'm going to just do all the ads together. That's not going to do what you think it's going to do. No. I mean, if yeah, you have other things to do with your life, just why are you even worried about this? Keep on making your little info commercials talking about incense and deodorant he's or whatever. About, he's it is talking about the talking. ads on Squadcast, Mag, is what he's talking about. I know. the in, You be selling incense and deodorant and That's Manscaped a, balls, ball deodorant, whatever. Whatever. Just go ahead and keep doing it. Don't worry about that. What, what Mag, obviously, we're going to keep doing it. Ads aren't stopping. So Here's what I've been thinking. I, I was letting a lot of comments get to me earlier in the year. You almost got to be like, uh, you almost got to look at it as like a, a, a quarterback or, you know, celebrity, like whatever. The bigger you get, people just going to be like, man, I'm going to fry to hear up just to see if I can get under his skin. And they're not when, real. Yeah. And when they get under your skin, they going to be like, you really going to walk around pissed, eating extra burgers and stuff to calm down. And they going to go on about their day. Or they're not even to your response. Unless he said, unless he said to here, if you don't stop these ads, I'll slap the shit out of you. That's the only way you need to respond. <laughs> like that's the only reason. Like what? If other than that, it's like boy, just ignore. You know what's funny to to, to hear too as well? The fact that he commented that and watched the ad, he's already paid you. Like, he right. like he's already paying you by commenting. And like one of the things I love to do, and you can't do this on Twitter, people will write the super long comment. Let me tell you what, Kev, Dilly, it's such a great feeling to drag your thumb this way and watch all, and then they go, oh, you gonna delete my comments? Delete that one too. <laughs> you said what? What? Delete the other, uh, what one? I delete their initial long paragraph comment, right. and then they get mad like, oh, you deleting comments? And then I delete that. And then they comment again, I delete it and then I block them. And on Twitter, I block them and then I really don't think about it anymore. I'm not mad at it. You could start there too, not thinking about it. 
<laughs> you could just skip right there if you wanted. Yep. All right. Well, you know, it is what it is. I was just was trying people to people that truly, 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 truly support you, they never they never have these, they never do this. They get it. They understand you're creative. This is how you make your business. It's people who don't really support you. It's like, hey man, make this content the exact way I want it made for me personally. And how that affects your life doesn't matter to me. And even if you did, I probably would still complain and, 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 and only like kind of watch okay. it. Hey, <laughs> harassment and bullying. Okay. Just, Again. You just want him to go down. <laughs> Sydney, what are you doing? Are you looking at bras too? No, I'm, I'm getting my, um, this, this is going to sound weird and I'm not trying to be weird. I'm getting my gun license today. And so I'm reading the email of everything I have to bring to go take the test and everything like that. Where are you I'm getting sorry, it? I think that's going to sound weird. Because it's, it's random, right? It's like, what are you doing? Uh, just reading how many, you know, what I got to do. I got to go to Nile right. Evans is doing it. You know Nile. Especially with the beard. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, I'm now, if I was I'm angry, like, <laughs> I'm doing a gun class real quick. <laughs> I'm looking, I'm looking Wait, at Wait, is guns. it the class or what is it? Yeah, it's like you take a course to get certified to say, I understand how to have a weapon, and then you can, you know, whatever, whatever. Is this like, your you know, now lesson? I have a, in California, you okay. have, it's different laws in different states. So, yeah. you know, yeah. What you got? You got the um, the new laser gun? I'll plead the fifth. I don't want to talk about anything that I have. I need nah, a, I need a, a Yapa. These mic sounds amazing. Does it? Thank you. <laughs> What kind of mic is it? Uh, I, wish yeah, I think I'm playing. When I call to here, when I call to here and say, "Hey, man, I need the IG package," I literally went on Amazon and just start clicking. This is a USB mic. I got the lights from to here. <laughs> Cindy, do you sing? You have a singing voice. Megan, keep going. I appreciate. It. I need it in my life right now. Um, no, I'm serious. Do you sing? He definitely has an R and B face. <laughs> <laughs> Oh goodness! You got laying down on the vinyl face. <laughs> <laughs> you got Carl Thomas face. <laughs> you think? That's funny. Oh my god! Oh, all right, this is gonna be a great show, man. Um, we gonna jump right into the first topic, right? Uh, right after this. What's up? I'm Tahir Moore, and I want to hit you with some hard hidden facts right out the gate. Two out of three men. Two out of three will experience some form of male pattern baldness in their life by the age of 35. That's crazy, but that's the truth. Those are facts. Listen, you can start doing something about it right now. The best time to start is when you first start seeing signs of it. Don't wait. You, you know what's coming. You'll see what's happening. You saw your uncle. You saw your granddaddy. You saw your papa. Okay, they all had it, so it's a likelihood that you may have it too. Do something about it while you still have an opportunity to. Because let's be real, a lot of us have a lot of our identity wrapped up in our hair. You know how good you feel when you leave the barbershop. You know ain't nothing fresher than a new cut. The 20s, the 30s, all the magnificent times. Once you start noticing that the hairline ain't coming in as full, that's when you need to start doing something about it. Now when your barber is asking, so uh, what's... What you want me to try to do today? When they say try to do today, listen, listen. They know when you know too. They just wait for you to admit it. And there's nothing to be ashamed about, okay? It happens. I get it. You used to have to go to the doctor's office about hair loss prevention and all of that. It was a whole thing. It was drawn out. You don't have to worry about that anymore. Not with Keeps. Keeps delivers it directly to your door and a discreet box every three months. It doesn't get any easier than that. And of the only two FDA-approved hair loss treatments approved by the FDA, you may have tried them before, but you've never tried them like this. And by this, I mean at this price point. Now, you may be asking yourself right now at this point, what price point to hear? $10 a month. That's right. $10 a month is all it takes to start keeping your hair, okay? Keep your crown, king. What you waiting on? Now, I will tell you this. Most treatments, okay, take between four and six months to see results. So do it sooner than later. Don't wait till your barber is asking you what you want to try to do today. You do it today, okay? Get your treatment started and keep your hair. And because you guys are listening right now, I'm going to hook you up with a free month of Keeps. All you have to do is go to keeps.com slash squad. That's K-E-E-P-S. 
dot com slash squad. S Q U A D D. What could be easier than that? Huh? What? Absolutely nothing. Again, go to keeps K E E P S dot com slash squad. S Q U A D and start keeping your hair. You heard it here. You heard it from your boy. All right. First topic of the day. Would you rather be homeless for a year or be in jail for a year? clarifying questions yes is this you know homelessness can mean i gotta stay on the couch at pat's house mm -hmm. or i sleep in my car or is this on the streets under the bridge homelessness i think in in all of these situations this most it, the most extreme version of it so this would be so the most extreme the prison well prison or jail i mean it more than likely be jail prison is for the long haul jail is like you know, a year. Just to, like a year less, right? No, it, it, you can be in jail for like four years, but prison is like usually long haul. When you've been sentenced like, you know, 15 to, to life, that's when you go to prison. You can be in regular jail for four years? Yeah, depending on your sentencing or your, your court date. If you don't, like sometimes they keep pushing court dates back, you'll be in jail until you get sentenced. That's tough because one has a place to sleep and uh, stuff to eat every single day. But it's not that good, and you you could get your butt touched or um, or shanked. You could get that it. on the streets as well, Pat. Let's just be clear. That's true. I, I actually hear that's a big problem in homelessness. See, in homeless really? mm -hmm. not shanks, but like Sexual other prison. Problem. Yep, that's a really big problem in homelessness. One more question to hear: Can we be homeless in LA, where at least it's warm? I mean, yeah, yeah, that, that. But you're like, but wait, wait, if you're homeless in LA, it's like Skid Row LA, right? Yeah, but this is the best place to be homeless. Uh, Skid Row. Uh... Well, no, I mean, you don't, have, you don't have to limit yourself to Skid Row. You know, there, there are bridges and highways everywhere, man. You can go to the valley, you can go Sun Valley. Yeah, why don't, why don't more homeless people travel? I feel like I would be very well-traveled if I was homeless. How well, do you know afford traveling, of... Pat? A lot of Walking. municipalities will like run the homeless out of there. Like they used to do that really yeah. big in Glendale. Like if if they if they see too many people there, they will literally like put them in a van and take them back downtown. If and I go to jail, off. I could start a fight and I can go into the hole. Right? Depends on how bad the fat fight is. You gotta make it where you gotta go to the hole, and then you, you would have to chill. you would have to start a fight, and then you would have oh to fight. you have to possibly shank somebody, and you would possibly have to injure uh, a, a guard. Now here's the thing, though, if you that do can that, add you to can your also, sentence, can you can add, add to your sentence? Yeah. See, now you're just in there longer by yourself. Bad plan. Uh, I don't. <laughs> wait, has anyone here been to jail so I can get a better no. firsthand account? No, I'm joking. <laughs> you hey, you got Zelda on your neck. That is not. That's where I got this. Is aggressive, man. It is. I so got this in C, C, cell block C. Let's go. Cell block C Pat, is Pat like has been a Facebook jail. Yeah. That's the only jail he's been to. He's been able to not Twitter jail. <laughs> At Twitter, Twitter jail. jail. That's it. Wait, so for real, has anybody been to jail that can like say this is how it? I don't like. Is I, there? I just I taught in multiple jails. So, but you've never been incarcerated. It's different when you get to go home at night. It is. It is true. But you, I mean, I read. I read all the paperwork. Like I would have, I would have inmates as students in my class one week, and then the next week, they had been moved for various reasons. Mm -hmm. Like what? Like they killed somebody. Huh? Have you ever been arrested though? No. I've been arrested. I've never been booked. What are you arrested for? I got arrested um and at all, at all, while I was working at all death. Oh shut up. Wait, what? The, uh, you... Halloween thing, Pat? Yeah, when I was uh almost killed for scouting a haunted place. That you should have got a bonus for that. You shouldn't be getting arrested. Right? <laughs> I remember that now. It's for a year. I'm gonna go. You know what? I I, I do this. You know what? Forget it. I just I I'll say homeless because mm -hmm. now I think I can use my gift to gab, and then I I'll fall in love with another homeless woman, and we'll just <laughs> we'll, we're gonna have a story to tell, 
like, uh, and then we'll come out on like on top like Tyler Perry. We'll just write plays as homeless people, and then one of my plays is gonna hit, and then <laughs> I'm gonna be touring. And he's like, he used to be homeless. Well, now I'm my own studio, so I'm gonna go homeless. <laughs> oh, oh that is. That's a good point, Sid. Because having a good story is really helpful. So you Tyler can say Perry. how you, you were in jail and you reformed not only yourself, but how you did outreach to people in jail and you helped turn their lives around too. You could start yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. And not only that, if you go to jail for a year, that, that literally could be child support. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. Like nobody goes to jail for just one year on a, a hard crime. So if you, you went to jail, like that's that's still a comeback story too. Uh huh. Didn't what her, what's her name? Uh, wait, wait. Oh, well, no. The the lady, the actress lady who had her kids falsely got her kids into college. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, Aunt Becky. Yeah, yes, Aunt Becky. Yeah. Uh, Lori Loughlin. Yes, she went for like it's less than a year, right? Or is it a little bit over a year? I think it's a little bit less than a year. Don't she get to choose her jails or something like that? Like it was yeah, so favoritism. Yeah. It's tough because like when you're. If you pick homeless, I feel like you're going to have to figure out where every single meal is coming from, as opposed to jail, where it's like you just have to survive. And I don't know. I'm coming like, to your house. Very stressful. Hey, Kev. Oh, do you have friends in this, in this homeless situation? No, you don't have friends in either situation. Why can't you have friends? Goodness you gracious. Have friends. You ain't got no arms, legs, no friends. You just out here. Yeah, who just gets yeah. homeless he and don't know He said it was extreme. Man. He said the extreme case of each. The extreme is being homeless, living under the... That's what <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got no family. You ain't got no friends. Also, your teeth fall out every time you take a bite of stuff. It's like, yo, what if you did you see a whole voice food, box like, to talk? <laughs> what if you did see a homeless dude on the street with no arms and legs? What would you do? <laughs> I've seen that before. No arms and legs? No I've arms no or legs. legs. I haven't seen he both. Just, I've just seen the torso. And I said, I was just like, wait, how does he? I'd be, man, I'd be feeling like, this is going to get deep. I ain't trying to be. I'd be feeling like homeless people are the closest to God to me. Yep. You know what I mean? And I'd be feeling like, you know, like this homeless dude, he's on the corner. He told me the other day, he's like, I'll kill you. But I know he's just crazy. You know what I mean? <laughs> And the next day he was like, Yeah, some change. And I was like, Yeah, you know what I mean? I'd be feeling like I just, you know, terrible. I, That's a hard switch. I don't yeah. get what, what why that was proof for your first the first thing you said. Why why you know, is that I, I'm not in homelessness, I'm not like afraid of them or like whatever. In jail, you probably gotta watch your back and worry about other stuff. As a homeless person, people gonna leave you alone. You just gotta worry about roaches crawling on you. That's the one thing. I don't worry about food. I worry about laying down and roaches crawling on me. That's the way yeah. I'm like, damn. That's the why, one why? that keeps me from right. like thinking right. that I couldn't do um, Naked and Afraid on Discovery Channel. Like, that's, you gotta that's the, the one thing. thing. You're naked, they're the afraid. One thing keeping that's you from the one it. thing keeping you from it, huh? I said one it's thing not the naked. From thinking that I thinking that I could do it. It's a, it's Listen, a, I'm not gonna be on soft in front of those strangers. You gotta understand me. You gotta be like, hey man, there's other stuff you bring to the table. <laughs> <laughs> I don't That's think anyone, I don't think the girl that you would be there with is even concerned what you look like soft. Y'all trying to survive, okay? That's nah, probably- she, she would be thinking about it. She'd be like, hey bro, he out here bad. It Homeless is and soft. <laughs> hey, what, what is naked and afraid? It's a oh, show. Dang, it's a show dang. where you go out, uh, you go out, you don't never they, know nothing. They take you out to the, watch the wilderness stupid. and they give you like, you're naked obviously, and you get like one item, like a knife or a machete or a satchel or whatever. And like 14. You get the like satchel, you, you can oh, put that in front of you. Okay, the satchel, you, you, and then you get like one item. tool, like one other tool uh, to work with. And it's like four teams and they gotta like, I feel like they gotta last, like 30 no, no, days? No, 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 that's, that's the, that's the that's next the level. The basic one is just at each episode, it's you, you meet a stranger there, both of y'all are trying to survive in the wilderness for it's how many oh, like no. days? Oh, one day? no. Oh, no. For 21 yeah. days. 21 days. Yeah. It's yeah. a guy and a girl. Y'all don't know each other. Y'all both naked. They got necklaces that has the mic in it <laughs> and the pack be going down to the satchel and that's it. And y'all have literally what have to them do naked survive. have to do with survive them surviving i don't because, think because, because bugs can get on you like you have to figure out oh like we have to make our own clothes it's a oh, it's a survival jail. Show. i'll take jail from that i'm gonna tell you why it's because the title naked and afraid you're more likely to watch that if it was just like in jeans and afraid you'd be like 
<laughs> There's no. I was like, I really missed out on that one. <laughs> nah, y'all were watching. Like, if you had a hoodies and afraid, you're like, man, they got hoodies, man. It can't be that bad. <laughs> what, What's I mean, the grand prize survival, on the show? But they had survival and they had clothes, and that was interesting. Yeah, well, but like man, after survival, this is like had extreme a... survival. But you know yeah. how bitches go. It's like survivable but without the clothes. Ooh, he's got something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I know they said that in the pitch meeting yeah. for that. Like, and, man, and we got here's it. another thing, man. Like, like when you're naked, there's a there's an extra level of man, just fear that comes along with it. When you got clothes, you could kind of a jacket, you could do this in the elements. Yeah. Like they be in, they be on naked and afraid, and it'd be raining for like six days straight, and they just cold. Oh, and they no. ain't got nothing but leaves to cover up with. Their fire keeps getting put out by the rain. That is the worst. of survival to just be naked. Oh yeah. man! Or in the, in the extreme heat, they have nothing covering their skins, and then they're like getting yeah. sunburnt. Like I seen this dude. They be leaving their them bugs be lighting them people up, biting the crap out of them, man. Bro, they be leaving there like twenty pounds lighter, blisters all over. One yep. dude had Lyme disease because he kept getting bit by ticks. It was, dude, it's, it's the bug. Like my- I feel like, I thought that was over, like scurvy. No, no, people be there's no lying. vaccination. People be getting scurvy? Hey man, I'm you buy some of these animals, you can get whatever. I can't be in the wilderness naked because like my penis blur gonna be different depending on the weather. You know what I mean? If it's warm, my blur might be bigger. If it's freezing, they're like, where the, bl-? it's a tiny blur. Like, first of all, it's freezing out here. And I don't want. I don't want to deal with that for twenty one days. Know what you were saying, bro. I don't want to deal with that for twenty one days. I would be. I would be upset about like all the stuff that your sack will touch. Like if you sit out on a tree or sit out on a on a, a stump or a bush. That, your, your sack, that's what you're concerned with. Your sack is gonna be brushing up against all types of textures that you have never felt before. That would be terrifying. Hmm. Bro, you're they be trying walking to through. survive for 21 days, Pat. You that's what you worried about? Bro, so like have you, you ever like have you ever like dropped water? The, but have you ever dropped there's a lot of things though. There's a lot of element. Have you ever dropped like a lollipop on the carpet and it has like all the all the, the, the good the example catchings, the Bro, catching they, they be what are through. you where are you getting you got, you got a sticky you got a sticky dick? <laughs> Not, oh, if it was hot and, and you were in the jungle, you damn right, I'm gonna have a sticky dick. Bro, look, look, think, think of that. 21 days, 21 days with no toothpaste, 21 days with no deodorant, 21 days with no shower. You might have a, a river or a lake close by that you get to jump in, but no soap. 21 days barefoot. Barefoot. Exa- that's exactly what I'm saying. Your dick is gonna smell. Like no, you ever, you ever like take a river? You can jump in the river, or the there's always a body of water close. It's by. not always a body of water, Meg. They be well, trying. Well, most of the times there would be. Do they bathe? You can Isn't if there's a camera crew that follows you. Like that, Pat. Yeah, it's, it's a, a camera, camera crew. It's a camera crew that follows you, right? They wearing clothes and everything. Yeah, yeah. they got clothes. <laughs> <laughs> they got they, they, listen, they're naked, just they like got, they got a camera weird. crew. I'm sure the camera crew got a nice little tent no. set up and all of that. And they get break. They get they get lunch. They got to take lunch yeah. legally. So then yeah. I'm I'm left to find a chameleon to fire. Same thought, and, Sydney. And you got a whole tent over there for like <laughs> for legal reasons. Yeah, they, you got to feed everybody. Then look, they they be hot, dehydrated. The cameraman be like this. <laughs> you gotta square up, bro. You see, yes, if, if you ain't ate in two days, you see somebody eating a kind bar, we gotta fight, bro. Kind? Yeah, you know how good that dog on kind bar looks when you've been eating ants for three days. Hey, Kevin, you know, you know, you know when you on a set, they they set up the buffets like they got the candles underneath the yeah. steamers or whatever, and you start seeing it like that's not for you, that's for our crew. You be like, oh, I'm gonna kill somebody because it's day six and right. y'all not gonna do this for me. Y'all could have took that like while I couldn't see it. I heard it's fake though. I heard all the people in Survivor, Bear Grylls, they would cut and be like, throw the raw fish and eat like. I you know what? I, the that. only reason I don't think that's yeah. the case for this show is because you see the drastic weight loss that people have. That they, is true though, man. They lose like 20, 30 pounds in a few days. And you'd be like, dang, you can lose that much weight that fast? What's the grand prize? Like, if you sub- do this, what do you? Is there financial gain? A lot of it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they, get, they, they definitely get money anytime they're getting filmed, obviously. But I think there's a cash prize at the end because they also were yeah. doing like after that they did um, 
the team one was uh, Naked and Afraid XL, and that's when they had like the four different. Oh groups. yeah, and that, that was the a cash prize. The team, the teen one. Team, no, team. Said, I thought like you said the team one. I was like, wow, this, whoa, okay, but, but, but. there's <laughs> whoa, that's crazy. You gotta be down bad to be like, yeah, I'll sign up. <laughs> <laughs> I saw, I really I put a lot make of it the first day. I I wouldn't. I'd be like, there's no water. Where am I gonna get water? Like the way you see people dig water up in the holes, like I'm like, how do you even find that, bro? They be going out there. They be knowing how to set like the traps for the fish and all of that. I, I couldn't do it. Um, uh, nah. Uh, uh-uh. I'm, not a, I'm not a like outside dude though. I'm not like a wilderness. Like I don't hike like that a lot. You know what I mean? Just because it says be weird. Like why don't you like why don't you like the wilderness? It's great. Uh, when it says like I ain't gonna hold you. When it says like beware of rattlesnakes and beware, I'd be thinking you're in their area. So if something were to happen to me, like you saw the white boy in the cougar or whatever that was chasing him. Yeah. Remember like, yeah, he was like, get back, get back, get back. Like, that's why I'm going to get my gun license. Like, I don't want, ever want to be in a position where the animal has the upper hand. <laughs> that's why I always hike or I run with uh, Mace. I've had to mace a cat before. How did you know him? Really, Kev? Bad, <laughs> You expect better from me? You're wrong. <laughs> well, that's, that's, the, that's probably the scariest feeling to be walking on a trail and to see a wild animal approach you. And he, you know he's approaching you because their cubs are around. But that's got to be like, yo, that's got to be like, God, I'm, I'm going to come meet you. Because that's got to be wow. Yeah, that was, that was scary. That was a big cat. And he could have just taken off at any point and killed yeah, that man. Yeah, killed that man easily. And what, that. that cat wouldn't have thought about, after that cat killed that man, he wouldn't have thought about it no more than the moment he murdered that dude. Oh, he would have just moved on to the next thing. And there would have been, been like, a whole search party. There would have been news stories yeah. and all this stuff. The cat's just in a tree licking his legs. <laughs> <laughs> the cat like Black Lives Matter. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put it to a vote. Homelessness for a year or in jail for a year? This is hard. I'll go, I got to go homeless. I go jail. I, You're I, already I, looking homeless, Pat. So we didn't expect up, anything different. Hush, Meg. You hush. Um, he just said hush. <laughs> now, jail or hard. prison? I think jail. Jail like county, right? Like you just down, yeah. downtown. Yeah. It ain't I'm like okay. prison, right? Do they don't jail. shank you in jail. They shake you in prison, right? Yeah, you're they, fighting you jail. Get shanked in jail, regular jail. Oh, you just get in fights in county, right? Yeah, you get in fights, you but get you get fight. fed. Fights. I feel I'm like it's the funny guy, though. I feel like it's the funny guy. We'd be okay. Yeah, uh, I got a med- I got a medical condition. I, I need to be in an area <laughs> where wherever y'all put Meek Mill, put me there. You know, you know how many times people tried to joke their way out of a jail ass whooping. <laughs> it probably doesn't work like that. Ah, like, yeah, when you serve in life, it's like he he, motherfucker. Well, I got hands, but I don't like to use them. Oh, prison hands. Meg, you would be the boss in jail. Oh, man. Orange, black. Meg would be the lunch lady somehow. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how. I think I, I would survive. Meg would be in orange chicken is the new black. <laughs> <laughs> Why would y'all laugh at that? <laughs> that was, that was y'all racists laugh at that. That was kind of creative. That was kind of creative. <laughs> then he got weird all... ugly. <laughs> What's the... Man, that one works. Just let it happen. You, you, it happens great. to the best of us. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go prison. I think I can survive, and the meals are there. And it's a little. I would say prison's probably a little bit safer for women than being a woman that's homeless on the streets, because then you don't have any protection from any men. So I'm gonna just say prison. You gonna have to protect yourself from the women. You crazy? You and, like, I know, but I'm saying it's a, it's a different type of protection that you know, like I got hands, but it's it's harder if I if it's like a group of men. That try to like come up on me and I'm sleeping under a bridge. You know what I'm saying? It's a little scary. That's a good point. You, That's a good point, Meg. I'm glad you brought that up. What you got, Kev? Uh, I feel like homelessness. I, I value my freedom. It will be hard, and I don't. I don't wish that on anybody. And you can't fight. So yeah, choose homelessness. It's three, it's three jails. You got a shirt to say, say with hands. <laughs> three jails. Those hands homeless. for prayer. Damn. So it looks Damn. like the uh, the jails have that one. 
And we're going to jump right into this next topic yeah. right after this. Now let me tell you what I'm going to be, honey, yeah. Oh, excuse me. Just singing one of my favorite songs, Honey. Nowadays, it feels like all of our shopping is done online, okay? And I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really mind it. I don't really mind it. I ain't got to go nowhere, get a ship straight to the house, and that's cool with me. But I want to give a big shout out to today's sponsor, Honey, because they have been saving me money for the past couple months. Now, some of y'all might not have heard of Honey. I didn't until they, they reached out to me. I'm going to let you know exactly what Honey is. Honey is a free browser extension that scours the internet for promo codes and automatically applies the best one to your checkout. Now, I know what you're thinking to hear. I don't want to sign up for another subscription I got to pay all this money for. and all. This. You don't have to do that. It's free. Okay, they save you money for free. What you waiting on? Who don't want to save some money? Even rich people want to save money. I know you want to save some money. So let me show you and tell you how you save some money. First, get Honey on your computer. And it's free, Okay. All you have to do is go to joinhoney.com slash squad, S-Q-U-A-D-D. -D. Now, when you go to check out at one of its over 30,000 supporter site, Honey pops up, okay? And all you have to do is click apply coupons. That's it. You don't have to look for it yourself. You ain't got to do all that digging and diving and searching. No, click apply coupons. Wait a few seconds. Honey searches all the coupons for that site. And when Honey is done, it will automatically apply it to your card. Automatically. That means you ain't got to do nothing. Now, let me tell you what I'm going to be. Honey, yeah. Now, I'm going to let y'all know something. I told you I didn't know about Honey until they reached out to me. I go to Domino's. Let me see if this works. Right? I didn't even know if it worked at Domino's. Went to Domino's. Put in my, my ID because I got, I got the loyalty points, right? I didn't know if it was going to work there. Typed in, honey, check out, apply coupons. It searched it, right? It had no coupons. I'll admit that. But it told me if I bought a gift, gift card, right, and paid with my gift card, I would save $5. You, so you mean to tell me all I got to do is just buy a gift card for the same amount I was going to pay, right? And then I'll get $5 off of that? You think I didn't do that? I absolutely did do that. I'm going to save that $5. I absolutely did. Let me tell y'all something. Every time I go to Target, I overspend about $100. Okay, now I go to Target.com, buy all the stuff I need, hit the coupons, apply coupons from, from Honey, save money, and now I'm not spending the extra $100 that I want to spend. No way. Y'all don't want to save this money. Y'all better get with this. Honey has found it's over 17 million members, over $2 billion in savings. Two billion dollars in savings. Who else is doing that? Nobody else is doing that. Nobody except for honey. That's why you need to get it right now. So it's simple, okay? I'm going to read it verbatim so I don't mess up and you get all the instructions that you need. Listen, if you have a computer, honey should be on it. It's free and it works with whatever browser you have. You can get honey for free today at joinhoney.com slash squad. That's S-Q-U-A-D-D. -D. Again, joinhoney.com slash squad. Everything you need is right there. Come on, let's save together, baby. Fellas, listen to me, okay? If you're over the age of 30, hell, some of y'all in your 20s. You look in the mirror right now, what you see? All right, look, look in this area right here in the mirror. What you gonna see? You gonna see some hairs, okay? Now, some of you guys might not have the long hairs, but some of y'all, come on, fam, okay? You just like me. I didn't notice mine until my 30. I was like, where did... When did I get this afro in my nose? But you know what? You don't have to worry about that. Thanks to Manscaped and the new Weed Whacker. First of all, let's just talk about how Manscaped has changed grooming forever for males, okay? It is okay. It is actually encouraged. And it is it's, it's definitely supported when guys have good grooming habits. Fellas, come on. Get it together. Don't be walking all around with hair coming out of your ears and your nose. Who are you? You a 65-year-old man? No, you're not. So stop looking like one. Stop doing those same grooming habits from the 60s. It's time to step into the new world, okay? Take care of yourself. I remember the first time I realized I needed to do something about my nose hair. I kept feeling like something was flying around my nose. I kept doing this, kept doing this all in the car. I know people thought I was getting a booger out, but it wasn't. It wasn't a booger. It was nose hair. It was curling under the nose and touching this part right here. That's ridiculous. I, I should have been ashamed of myself. And I was. I was, but no more. Thanks to the new weed whacker. 
The new Manscaped Weed Whacker has a 9,000 RPM motor powered, 360 degree rotary dual blade system. Now, what does that mean? I don't know, but I can tell you this, it works, okay? It goes really fast and it gets those hair out. Now, I'm gonna tell you this, you ever pull, like you ever try to pull a nose hair out and it hurt, like it make that one tear come down? You don't have to worry about that with this, all right? This is not that. This is something that is comfortable. You can use it with ease and you can use it with confidence. And I'm gonna tell you something else. It has a lithium Eon rechargeable battery, which is good for up to 90 minutes of trimming. Now, if you got 90 minutes of trimming going on in one session, you got a problem, okay? You need, you need, to, get, you need to get that looked out. I'm gonna pray for you, put you on my prayer list, but Still, this can help. In addition to getting a weed whacker, you'll get a replaceable blade every three months. So you don't ever have to worry about it going dull and not doing its job. All you have to do is do your job. And if you're ready to get started, then listen up, okay? Because I'm giving you guys 20% off. That's right, 20% off and free shipping. You heard, right? 20% off for free shipping. And all you have to do is use the promo code SQUAD. That's S. Q-U-A-D-D. -D. Go to manscaped.com, use the promo code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D, -D, and get 20% off and free shipping. You need me to say it again? I'm going to say it again because y'all act like y'all don't hear me on Manscaped.com, promo code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D, 20% off, free shipping. What are you waiting on, baby? Take control of your hair. Grab it by the nose hairs and yank them out with the weed whacker. Holla at your boy. Next topic we have. Huh, this is this one that's near and dear to my heart. Wasting time versus wasting money. Mm -hmm. Now, now, like, Kev, are, am I wasting my own time and wasting my own money, or somebody's wasting my time and they're wasting my money? Um, let's say, uh, let's say the latter. Somebody's wasting your time, or somebody wasting your money. Mm. That's rough. Uh, um, the, the hardest thing for me is that it's, it's kind of twofold because it took time to get my money. So if you waste my money, you're still wasting my time. And if you waste my time, then you prevent me from making money. So it's, it's kind of- well, I don't know if that's, I feel like there's always, I don't know. I, I'm a believer that you don't really waste. There's not really a waste of my time because there's something I could have, I've learned from it. And I think if you approach it like that, then there's really never a waste of time, right? Yeah, no, I, I, I really believe that it, even if somebody's doing something, I'm like, I, I could have been doing something else. I think about like, OK, well, what did I learn in this instant? Even if it's like, don't trust certain people that say X, Y, Z, like I learned something. But what if you learn something and then that thing happens again? You don't learn you nothing the second time. You just wasted your time, huh? That's on me because then I didn't learn something, obviously. I, I'm going hmm. to spend my time. Because maybe I'll chalk up my finances as a loss, but I'll get angry about my time, I think. Like, I remember going to this dude's house, and he, he acted like he wanted to work and do some things. Like, okay. And then we had a whole meeting, right, at his house. Nice house, whatever. Had a whole meeting, like an hour and a half, talk, 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 talk. I want you to write a movie for me. All right, I'm going to pay you like $5,000 to write the whole movie. And I was like, oh, you, you wasted my time. <laughs> like this... And then I was pissed. You know what I mean? I was so mad about me coming over there, me thinking about what are you gonna say in the meeting, like all that, and like you wasted my time. Like I, well, I think I'll get actually, more mad about time. To Meg's point, after that, yeah, you, you learned. learned. Yeah, you learned. I never, I never want to, you know. But it's still like that initial was like, mm, if you'd have wasted my hundred dollars, like all right, cool, like I, yeah. but like that I time is like my my mental, all that is like uh, I'd rather not waste my time. I think. Yeah. Also, you don't get more time. Mm -hmm. So if somebody wastes your time. That's that's it. You can't. That's it. You can get more money. You can make more money. You can learn to make money faster. Excellent point. If your time is gone. You just be like, bro, I'm never gonna get those get two back. hours of my life back. Mm -hmm. Even with the lesson that Sid learned, that time is gone forever. Mm -hmm. What about what about like? Can you say that if you wasted your own time and took a day off, or if you wasted your own money and bought a bunch of stuff for yourself, but you enjoyed that wasted time or you enjoyed what you bought with it, is that considered not wasted then? Yeah, it's not wasted. Well, like, 
But if it's self inflicted, it's a little different because it's not going to kind of like it's on me. But and when when someone else is wasting my time, it's just I guess it's a little different. Like if I buy something because I want like some new stuff, I can it may be a waste of money, but I'm enjoying that. You know, if I take a day off of working, I'm probably enjoying the rest. If mm -hmm. I prepare myself to come spend some time with you, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I wouldn't waste somebody else's time. Like if Kev was like, Sydney, come meet me tomorrow at three. I want to talk to you. I'm not going to show up at 320 right. and then like bush it till 330. It's like, now nah, I like I'm wasting time. You know what right. I mean? So time, time is probably worth more than money. Cause like you said, you can't get time back. That's you true. can make more money. You know what I mean? This got real deep. I love it. How, how, I don't know that, but I'm really cheap though. I don't like people wasting. When I think about other people wasting my money, it makes my blood boil because you don't understand how much work, how much time, how much energy, what I had to sacrifice to make this money. Because that means if I'm working, I'm not spending time with my family. I'm not doing stuff with my son. Like to me, if you're gonna waste my money, that's like the biggest f you that you could do because it's like no consideration of what I had to do to get that money. On top of that, I'm cheap. I still use coupons. I will use coupons until the day I die. I will buy my house with a coupon. I don't care. So <laughs> if I'm that cheap, buy how do you think I'm going to feel about you using my money irresponsibly? But wait, here's a question. What if somebody wasted your money? Let's say they wasted like a hundred bucks. Let's say 200 bucks, right? Or you sacrificing time away from your kid to go somewhere and it was for nothing and it was like maybe but that's what I'm saying. I don't ever feel like it's for nothing I always feel like there's something I learned even if it's like don't ever trust people who are this person when they say they talking about business they're not talking about business so next time I need to clarify with people when they say hey let's meet up for xyz well what is xyz like you need to tell that Tell me, like, that's a lesson for me to, so next time when somebody approaches me, I know to get more details. Gotcha. So, so to me, it's not, a, it's just not wasted time. I just don't feel like any time is wasted. What's an example you know, of me somebody- Me scrolling on Instagram, like that's more of a waste of time, but I did that myself. What's a, what's a good example of somebody wasting your money though? Cause we know how somebody can waste your time. I um, had a, when I had the tour, we had the, um, the travel person booked hotels in the wrong city and completely wasted my money. And I also did that on my own. So Wait, how, how did that happen? She looked at the calendar wrong and she bought, uh, we were like in Detroit on Saturday, Minnesota on Sunday. And she bought, uh, she bought hotels for the, the reverse Saturday night in Minnesota, Sunday night or Sunday in Detroit. So we had lost, both of those and he had to pay for both of those mm -mm. so i'm like livid like because i pay you to like you are a travel agent you are paid to book travel now later that year uh i i had relieved her of her duties and um how'd you do it 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 kid i want to see how you fire somebody how'd you do it i can tell you how you fire somebody sydney <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, wait, exactly my bad. I'm sorry. I didn't mean, I didn't mean to waste your time, Kev. I, I wasn't trying to, I wasn't even trying to this go. This is how he fires somebody, Sydney. He, he, I tells win this account. Monday, he tells them on a Monday that they have nothing to worry about because their job is, <laughs> is secure and the project that they're working on is the only thing that will change. And then he gives you false confidence the entire week. And then on Friday, after you finish filming the last episode of said show, he comes in and he says, can I talk to you for a second? That means he probably told the travel agent, like, I'm booking this huge world tour. S clear your whole schedule out. I'm going to have you working, working. <laughs> he said that to her on Monday. <laughs> uh, I'm Friday. And then he texts her, hey, can you come here for a minute? <laughs> <laughs> hey, can I talk to you for a second? <laughs> hey, before you book our next travel, don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do want to know how you did it. Uh, actually, my wife did it. Um, nice. We, we take turns having to let people go, and it was actually her turn. Oh, you do it a lot. You let a lot of people go. Okay, okay, let people go. That's all right. Awesome. It is a new crew life. every time. Every time we go to your show, it is a new crew. I noticed. <laughs> the more part of that story is when I had taken over the travel myself to finish out the tour. I had made. I did the same thing. Like I had the dates crossed and, and booked a- But you were also touring and doing that as opposed to yeah. that being the only job. Well, that's true. But at the end of the day, 
the money waste is still the waste, but I was, I, I can beat my own self up. But right? if I pay you to do this for me and this is what your company does, then I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. less forgiving of you doing, messing up your job and to your point, Pat, or me adding something to my plate when I'm not a, a professional you know, travel person. You know who didn't mess my travel up? Meg, when she booked the travel the first year, listen. How'd you fire Meg? She did. I didn't. I didn't fire her. She fired herself. She, I quit. I was like, I'm not doing that. Kevin, I'm gonna just continue. be honest with you. This is a lot going on, and I'm about to be a single mother, so I gotta prepare myself for this. <laughs> I'm not a single mother. <laughs> Meg walked in the the office, and she was sitting there at the table. I gotta talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> I got a whole ass baby at home, and you want me to book a hotel in Florida? Meg is so controlling. No. She booked her own firing. <laughs> put it on his calendar. You put her firing on his calendar. <laughs> I'm gonna need to book this office from ten o'clock to ten o three. That's all I need. <laughs> all right, Meg. This is what you could have done better. <laughs> oh man. It was like, you either gonna fire me or I'm gonna fire myself. Well, how you wanna do it? Kevin was like, what? <laughs> All right, guys. Join meeting for firing, join. <laughs> oh, yes, no, maybe. <laughs> but no, but that, I mean, that's actually a really point. good example. A really good example of what Kev says because I because I value I understand people's time it, it to me time is money it's, it's kind of the same thing but I'm over here booking travel for Kev's entire tour what I'm not gonna do is make sure his money is wasted I'm over here he was actually like Megan we don't want to say that I was like but we're saving fifty dollars oh, per no. room and he be trying to help us in the Red Roof Inn. On tour. Bruh, I was like, man, come on. We do But it had a, it though. had like 4.5 stars. It was a nice red ribbon. Meg literally said, Meg literally literally would argue me down about my own stuff. I'm like, girl, put me in the, the courtyard Marriott at least. No, like, how you telling me it's me? <laughs> it's my money. It's my money. <laughs> I want to Because we can here. save more money here. <laughs> oh, I remember doing a, what's the college? Savannah State? I think it's Savannah yeah. State. And my homegirl, Tracy, I've worked with her for years, like literally years. And I did like a college run. I don't really like doing college like that. I was like, all right, cool. You, you know, she's like, booked it. I went to the college. When I got to the hotel, it was in the middle of the hood. Like the middle of the hood is hotel. Like like choppers, like they looking for people like all night. And I hit her, I said, where did, where did you go? And she was like, no, I found it online. I Googled it, it was good. It was good price. It looked like it got good reviews. And I was like, what is that noise? The helicopters, Tracy. That's that's what you hear. So, but I, it was like for one night. He's like, you can rough it. I was like, all right. Bro, yeah, like, Meg, what I was trying to tell Meg, Sid, I was like, Meg, when you spend a third of the year in hotels, you want them to be nice. Like Comfort. one night, if you don't do it, that's that's fine. But three nights a weekend, four nights a weekend, you 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 want them to have stuff. I was, uh, that was at the very beginning. And I was like, okay, I was, it was only at the beginning, but it was a couple of rough ones in there. And even like the flights and stuff, I'd be like, but this, this flight, uh, if you take it at this time is cheaper. And he was like, Meg, so we had to like establish a rule of thumb. If it's like, if it wasn't more than a hundred dollars difference, he was like, I don't care. Right. Like, yeah. But you do, when you're running a business though, the one thing that Meg was good about, and this is why I would hire her again if I could, working with people who treat your money like theirs is who you want. Like I've had some people in my, you know, in our lives, especially at all death. Even Meg was like that with all death's money. The rest of people were like, hey, my money, shoot. I, <laughs> like, I'm getting the best stuff. People at all death was, bro, towards the end when the truth starts spilling out, People had bought shoes and all type of stuff on the uh, on the company car. Most of them people got was fired. going to lunches, you know, every day on the Ooh. company card. Kevin what? shoes though. Outside shoes. looking in, it looked it felt like a college campus. Like outside looking in, like, you know, it was. You know, it, said, it was like college. Yeah. It was the, yeah. it was digital media, HBCU college. See, here's the thing. It wasn't me though, because I was already fired. So it, it wasn't me that was doing it. <laughs> let me go. I just want to. I want to make I that. Did. I did. Like, wasting my time. Meg, Meg was like trying to book us in in hotels that still had a key, like an actual key and a key, like a motel. 
He tried to book us at the Bates Motel. Was like, Still but Kevin, I got two of the rooms for free. It was like, there's blood on the sheets, man. <laughs> the cops. We could check into our room because the yellow tape was still around the rooms that they had signed. <laughs> put a towel, put a towel over crime it. crime scene. Be like, your room will be ready at 11. Like, what? <laughs> That's usually Hilton got pretty much, Hilton should be the standard. Like, Hilton has, Marriott has good, like, rates. Like, the Marriott, I feel like it's a good, you get a good little room in the Marriott. You don't always get a good rate. I'm just Meg, saying. I, I want to ask, ask you something. Yeah. Is there anything that you that you let loose on where you don't you know you be like all right this is I'm gonna spend my money I, I'm not doing coupons vacation big underwear <laughs> would you say would you say big underwear those big full nope. coverage draws Meg would go to town at pennies nope coupons <laughs> for those too um, no actually actually I I started being more relaxed with like my grocery shopping. I don't coupon as much anymore because it's that takes a lot of time and effort and right. Like I don't have I have to pick. Like am I gonna take the time to coupon or I'm gonna just lose a couple of dollars? So for that, I will say I do I feel like coupons and grocery shopping is like so nineties, you know what I mean? It's like I got a number now. Do I get anything off? All right, run it. That's, that's how I be. No, I, I'm, hey, I be on the app. It's on the app now. You can, you, if you like, uh, if you be serious about that couponing, you can get stuff. Oh. Like it, but oh, you gotta like, really dedicate your, your yeah. time to it to make it work. I saw this documentary about couponing where a girl, uh, this woman, she'd pu pull out like this huge Bible at the, at the cashier. She'd get all her groceries and they'd owe her like, Forty dollars at the end, and I don't see and how that works. Nothing out. better than well, that. Well, listen, you guys. when I used to, work, you know, I used to uh, the it's cashier. So what they do? It's, you, like, it's like double coupon days and all that. Like if you have a lot of coupons, yeah, they got a plan. It's people that come in the grocery store. I remember in high school being a cashier. They will okay. So what's the day though? What what's the date today though? Seventeenth or something? Nineteenth. So nineteenth. So there is meat in there's meat right now in the fridge at Ralph's that says cannot be sold by the 19th. So people will wait till 1158. They will find all the meat that says 19th and you have to give it to them for free because you can't sell it after this price. So on the 20th, they're like, I need this. And then they would come with coupons to match everything. It's a way I've seen like 150 bucks pay like- I'm about to do that. Bucks. That's like they literally that they find were, uh, stuff. Uh, the Tiger King was feeding them tigers. It was, it was old Walmart meat and stuff. Yeah, they can't sell it. They legally can't sell if they say sell by it could be in your fridge till whatever, but they can't sell it by that past date. So people wait till midnight, like it's the 20th. And they just the be like, midnight you can't tell them no, Sid. You can't be like, nah. But I mean, at 16, I'm like, doesn't mean you can't, you don't have, you have to give it to them. No, I don't think there, there's, I think there's a special situation because, um, what you call it? They, that's a, a reason why people are like, why don't you just give it to the homeless? Because there's a liability with selling expired meat. Yeah. Or like giving away expired meat because I'm like you're gonna throw it in a dumpster anyway. Like why don't you just give it to somebody who could actually use it? Because I worked at a lot of like homeless shelters and like feeding the homeless, and it was like why won't y'all just give us y'all stuff that you about to throw away in the trash? Yeah, I saw that Starbucks uh, with the homeless shelter in LA, and their stuff that they don't sell by that night, they they give it to them. Which uh, they, I mean, which they should. That's like why be wasteful? Because people are so worried about like a lawsuit. But like this stuff is not expired, or it's like it's not bad to eat. It's just legally you have to put an expiration of a certain amount of days. So they do that. What homeless person is begging for coffee? <laughs> they sell pastries. Gone, <laughs> they sell um, pastries. And okay. if Tahir was homeless, he would be the begging for for coffee person. I definitely would. I definitely would. To stay up. You think you're addicted to coffee? Huh? You think you're addicted to coffee? No, I can stop anytime I want to. <laughs> <laughs> like flavored coffees or straight black and sugar? I just do creamer. I don't do any sugar. When we was on tour to here, it wouldn't even calm down until he had his coffee, man. And it we also has no effect. And they didn't have the coffee, coffee thing out. I'm like, so when do you guys put the coffee thing out? I'm like, oh, we literally. We we put it away after the 11 o'clock. I'm like, is that procedure? Because I've been to many Marriott's where they always have it out. Procedure. <laughs> so here, when did you start drinking coffee? I feel like you was in like the fourth grade. Like like eight or nine. I used to drink it with my grandfather. Eight, eight nine? Eight or nine is when I started. You were drinking morning. coffee at nine? Best part of waking up. That makes sense. Did you, Listen, your grandma call me, call me, like here to here? A, a voter rally 
on Saturday. Uh, I think his name was Dino. I'm in Inglewood leaving a voter rally. I'm in the old school. I pull over and I hop out. Uh, <laughs> and he was like, to hear? And I was like, hey, what's up, man? He was like, man, this is, this is a true representation of you. You got out the car like an old man out of an old school. You closed the door real hard. <laughs> I'm an old. Here was now with a newspaper. I like what I like. <laughs> I like what I like. I Lit up a cigar and everything. Yep. <laughs> I feel like I you and Kev have saying. both been old your whole lives, but like different kind of old people. Like Kev is like the old people that go to church and is like you know planning I, for holidays with their kids. You like the old people. Like you, you, you used to be in prison, but now you're I'm, just an old man. I'm the old like, guy that like wears suits and like long cars. Kev is the old guy that wears shoes with elastic on them and Velcro. <laughs> He's the old guy, the mysterious old guy you see at Sizzler all the time in a suit. And you're like, why does he keep dressing up to come here? And it's because no. he just- <laughs> I'll never see that make, like you go to McDonald's and it'd be oh, like five o'clock in the morning already be like six old people like having yeah. a meeting and stuff. They just- that's, that's me. <laughs> That's me. You would do that. I would, absolutely. Those guys got great stories. When I used to work at White Castles, it was the same six old guys that would come in and they would sit there every morning from like 5 to 7.30 and then they would go to work or go back home. But the same oh, did every morning. Castles White Castles served breakfast? No, they yeah. wouldn't get it. They just, White Castles had like some of the best coffee. Wanda oh. Coffee in St. Louis is, is like a great distributor. So they would be there for the coffee. Sometimes so they, they would just go to White Castle, get a cup of coffee, chop and chop it up for two hours every day. Every that's what day. a lot of overtired people do. Every day, they then they go home. They be like, I guess I'll go home to this is real quick. They would come back around lunchtime. They yeah. never stayed at home. Hey Tom, he was doing so well, but I think he said go home to the Mises. <laughs> no, I said go home to the Mises. I didn't mess up. I promise yeah, you. That was a you said Mises. I love you. I love you. I love you, dear. Right, let's put it to a vote. Let's put it to a vote. I'm sick of y'all. Besides the ads, bro, the word play in here. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Another he is good vibes, man. He is. Wasted time versus wasted money. Go. Don't waste, waste my time. money. Don't waste my time. I get literally mad over wasting my time. Money I could chalk up. Wasting money. Meg? Don't waste my money. Hey, Kev, you said time? Time. Time, time is on my side. Yes, it is. Well, I'm going to go with time as hey, well. Pat, that new Cloudy like... merch? What? Mm-hmm. Is that new Cloudy merch coming? Mm-hmm. The bandana and the shirt? And the hoodie. It's an October job. I'm I'm all in. I got I miss the cloudy towels, but I got everything else. I got the shorts. Uh, the shorts are super comfortable. I, I I really enjoy the shorts. I like them too. I free ball in them. It's pretty cool. All right. Ah! Uh, looks like wasting time has it. So we're gonna keep it moving. We're gonna get started on this last topic right after this. Yo, what's going on? I'm to hear more, and I want to ask you guys a real question. What is in your multivitamin? Do you even know? You probably don't even know. You probably don't even know the amount of sugars or GMOs or synthetic fillers that are in it. Not to mention the animal byproducts. I'm talking sheep's wool. Uh, you have gelatin from hooves and hides. All the ingredients that you might find in a multivitamin. And you didn't even know it. But I do want to let you know that Ritual is not your average day Typical multivitamin. Ritual's clean, vegan-friendly formula is made with key nutrients in forms that your body can actually use. No shady extras. That's what you really need to pay attention to. Because everything that's going on, a lot of us aren't able to be as active as we once were. And I get it, okay? I completely understand the struggle. But that's all the more reason to watch what you're putting in your body. I've been taking Ritual probably for about two and a half months now because I'm right around two and a half bottles in, and I'm telling you, it's one of the best decisions I made because I know I'm not able to be as active as I was before the world shut down. One of the things I love about Ritual is that you'll always know where your nutrients come from thanks to Ritual's one-of-a-kind visible supply chain. Ritual is formulated, okay, with key nutrients, including vitamin D3, all right, to help fill in those gaps in your diet. Not only that, they're fresh tasting. I know a lot of you all have tried multivitamins before and you get that delayed burp 
You know, they're, they're kind of fishy, but oh, I hate it. One of the reasons why I stopped taking them. But you don't have to worry about that with Ritual. Listen, guys, you deserve to know what's in your multivitamin, which is why Ritual is offering 10% off for your first three months for my listeners right now. All you have to do is visit ritual.com slash squad to start your new ritual today. Again, go to ritual.com slash squad, S-Q-U-A-D-D. Get a better diet, get a better multivitamin, get a better life, okay? Again, that's ritual.com slash squad, S-Q-U-A-D-D. -D. That's all you have to do. Take control of your life. Get a better multivitamin. Know what you're putting in your body and feel good about it. Last topic of the day. What's worse, being left on red versus a dry conversation? A Left on red. Conversation. Oh. At least they're at, at least they're giving you the bare minimum cap, where it's just like uh, like dry. You could always just be like, all right, I'm good. But left on red is just like. No, but what what if they left you on red not by because they didn't want to talk to you, but it was like, oh, they got they got busy and they were doing something, but they're gonna get back to you later. Like that's not that bad. That's yeah, why I, 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 I could that. take a left on red. I can't take in person or just trying to talk to somebody and they, it's like a dead conversation. Like my ADD will kick in like, I, I just walk off, I, I can't do it. I just, I, ew, ew. I'd rather you just not reply because then we don't have to do this. I you agree wholeheartedly. I realize I don't really be having that many conversations with people. It's the same yeah, people. But, it's like, the same I, people I, I talk to all the time. I look at my pen, uh, conversations pen, on my phone. Like your Blackberry pen? People. Huh? Like you your Blackberry pen? pen, you are old. No, my pen conversations. Like I looked at my pen conversations and it's the same people. Uh, the ED at the end, okay. What is that? What's a pen conversation? Like your text messages, you can, like the people that you frequent the most, you could pin those to the top of your, your chat history or your text history with the update. You got, you probably haven't updated your phone, Pat. Oh, I don't have the update. Oh. Wait, why like, do that, you need to pin like, them? Yeah. Yeah, so Once they like, start talking to you, this, get like, it comes up. Kev, Kev, Brennan, and Tony are in three different, like, Tony's in this one, Tony's in this one, Tony's in this one. Kev's right here. He's in this one as well. Like, Pat right here. Like, it's it's the same people in three different groups. It's just all, all my business. So I talk to the same people. I can handle being left on red because I know how busy I get. And sometimes I glance at something and I'm about to reply. I get a phone call. I, I realize I need to do something. But a dry conversation, it almost goes back to the last topic of wasting my time. And I'm just like, bro, I don't, we don't, especially over the phone, like, bro, we don't even have to do this. We, this oh, is, bro, it's worth it. I'd be like, let me go ahead and open up these cans. I'm gonna catch you later, man. man. <laughs> I'm not the small talk dude. I'm, I cannot do it. And people, I think, think I'm rude because of it. I just don't, literally don't know how to act like, I, I, if there's not a point to this, this conversation, I don't know how to play around. Like I'm okay with just just talking to you of, of some some just gibberish shit. Like what's up with you? How you doing? You, like we could talk, or you know what I mean? Like if I was saying I'm trying to get to know you, okay, cool. But just some random, like it's usually like a newer comic. It's like, hey man, what's up? How long you been doing stand up? Oh, a minute a while. Mm. Well, like, uh, and I'm like, I'm out. I'm clocked out. I'm like, I gotta go. 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 Like, what are we doing? Like, <laughs> well, I mean, I, I assumed we weren't talking about in person because of the on red one, right? Oh yeah, my uh, bad. Yeah, yeah. No, no. I mean, like, does that count um, towards the um, dry conversation? Because if we're counting in person, then that's for sure worse for me. Well, I think the dry conversation would mainly be in person because, like, a lot of times, if you're having a text conversation with a person, y'all are going back as a real conversation. Um, it, you, you're having a conversation with a with a purpose or intent, like to to get a means or ends or something, and that's that's what I don't like being left on red in the middle of a conversation, right? But if we're just texting casually through the day, like yo, hit me when you get a chance, or yo, have you checked out this video? You checked out this means something like that. I, I'm not immediately expecting a response, but like in the middle, if we we're we're ten conversation, I mean ten texts back and forth in, and then you just like go silent. With like no type of like, hey, I, I gotta take this call real quick. I'll hit you right after this or something like that. Then, then that's annoying. But other than that, I will, I'll take left on red in a dry conversation any day of the week. But I feel like I'd be 
having so much stuff to do or research or whatever, if, if a conversation go dead, I might not even notice. You know what I mean? Like I'll, I'll, I mean, yeah. well, actually, let me, let me say, if we're in, like Tia was saying, if we're having a great conversation and then it just goes dead, I'd be like, well, dang, man, what, what happened there? Right? But that is preferable. That is preferable. Um, well, actually, I don't know, man. I, I'm confusing myself. Cause I, I don't know. For me, left on, I, I look at text messages at least not as like immediate um, conversation. <laughs> to me, like, I, I'm okay with somebody not responding immediately unless it's something that's urgent. But to me, if it's urgent, we should have had a phone conversation anyway. So if somebody, if I'm just left on red, I'm like, okay, well, you, to me, you got busy and you were doing something else. Cause the way my self-esteem is set up, you didn't just stop talking to me because you didn't, you were annoyed with me. No, you stopped talking to me because you was busy. Couldn't be that. But I don't know. I would, I think I'd rather take a dry conversation because to me, I can spruce anything up. Right? Spruce oh. that room up. It's just the one plant. I'm trying. trying. <laughs> I have a vibe. I'm trying to figure out how I'm... That plant look like it's in a that plant look like it's in a house. I'm gonna design this. I got something. Meg, don't take that from Kev is in the starter uh dorm room. Look at the your your paint is boring. Are. are you giving that plant water, water or milk? <laughs> the crazy thing that's hilarious. The thing about this room is the, the natural light is right here. So yeah. there's no place to hang anything. You can hang stuff on these sides, but you wouldn't see it. You got a it's sitcom room, okay? like the, <laughs> the cast is gonna come out each door. <laughs> Starring, <laughs> right behind you. Is, the, you is, the door, is the door to your uh, over your left shoulder taller than the door right behind you? No, it's just closer. This is a this is a bathroom in a closet, and that's actually the door to the thing. They're the same height, but because it looks farther back, it looks higher. No, 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 no. The, those, those next to each other, the closet and the door. Oh, are- yeah, yeah. This one is, is. I was about to lose my shit too because I was like, no, I know it does look <laughs> yeah, a little higher. Part of the wall is closer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought you were that door, but yeah, the the, the door to the bathroom is higher than the closet. Okay. I don't even know why I asked that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys know most doorways are about seven feet? Anyway, keep going. Random information. You say what? Like, See? Like, like exactly. Most most doorways are about seven feet. Exactly. Roughly. Look at Meg like she didn't give a fuck. Like, I'm nigga. No, Meg no, like, trying to fact check you. 7.23 cubic zirconias and in America, but in the United Kingdom, they're like <laughs> five. Standard door sizes. That's funny. That's a, a whole article. Standard door size. It's about 80 inches. <laughs> what is 80 inches? That's almost seven feet, ain't it? 84, seven feet? The average interior standard door width of, tw- of between 28 and 32 by 80. Yeah, it's almost seven feet. Guys, I don't know a lot, okay? But what I do know, <laughs> I know. <laughs> and I feel like you're tall. I feel like you need to know this stuff so you know where- That's how I walk. know. My, my uncle is 6'9", and so he would always duck through a door. So I looked it up, I was like, how, how tall is a doorway? So he wow. never had to duck. He was just doing that for aesthetics. Yeah, 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 just because it's like, you know, just in case, you know. <laughs> Get on some shoes, you know what I mean? <laughs> Makes no sense, but okay. We now know that stuff, guys. Good job. That's why you brought me on the show, man. I don't want to, um, I, I just don't want to engage in a dry conversation. I feel like that's just a but he, Hold on, but here's the thing about you to hear, Kevin, Pat, I'm assuming you two said, is that anytime we've had a conversation, Y'all Negroes will find a way to talk about whatever the F you want to talk about. You make a way. So how is there any dry conversations when all y'all are used to leading a conversation into the way you want to talk anyway? Because we like having somebody to bounce off of. And if it's just everything is just blah, blah, and you feel like you're working towards the conversation, then it's just like, ah, this person sucks. It's usually, it's usually a person you don't know like that. You're like, oh, I, they can't keep up with this combo. And you just like, you just like, get out of there. This is my pair of shoes. I feel like I this like, is the thing about dating. Is This is a, a dating thing, too. I feel like it's different. If you're in a potentially romantic relationship with someone, I imagine you ascribe a higher uh, sense of importance to their ability to carry conversation in text. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That is true. 
Mm-hmm. And I feel like you also give um, people you're into more leeway in terms of dryness. Cause like, especially like back in the day, if a girl was cute, they could be a little bit more boring. I mean, I don't work like that anymore, but like, I feel like all of us have given like a boring, you know, attractive person a chance. And then after a while, it's just like, you know what? I can't, Never mind. <laughs> never mind. I remember walking up, if I'm talking, I try to approach you and like, you know, and I talk to you and in that initial, like, you know, conversation, if the vibe is like, you're really boring, I probably, I probably would still just be like, I'd try to find a cuter girl, a cute girl that could talk or like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Hold a combo. Because then you're like, I don't want to do this again. Like a whole date of this? Oh, no. Oh, God. That's the worst part. Go to out, think about. And then you're doing this the whole night. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, I don't know. God. You guys have to, you've been on dates where you didn't know the person was boring until the date started. Uh-huh. It's like at the comedy uh-huh. shows, quick. You know what I mean? It's like, hey, you want to go out tomorrow? Like, all right, babe, I got to go. All right, babe, babe. And then you go meet him. It's like, uh-huh. I like to watch ducks. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, whatever, whatever. <laughs> I remember in college, this one chick. I went out with, she didn't talk about anything except for like, like gangster music, like trap music. Like, so every conversation was either about like Lil Boosie, Lil Webby, or Yo Gotti or something like that. You're like, you heard that new Gotti? I was like, nah, I ain't really heard it. Man, that nigga be going off, man. I fuck with that nigga heavy, bro. <laughs> who, who was this? <laughs> she was a chick from the north side of the Strong Louis, way she, to start off a conversation. Listen, she here's the thing though. Like when she was around her girls, she was the life of the party. Like she was one always dancing and popping the gum. And I in college, I was like, oh, I like this little motherfucker right here. And bro, I took her out. I, I, I took her to Starbucks. She had never been to Starbucks. She had never had a strop. Oh, well, well, the red was, flag right there to here. Bro, I opened her door for her. She was like, what you doing, my nigga? I was like, my nigga? Hit me with the straw, my nigga. She was like, what you doing, my nigga? I was like, I was trying to be a general, open your door. I ain't never had nobody open no door for me. What you trying to fuck? She was like, I was already gonna fuck you. I was like, okay. She tried to be rolling blind. Pull your dick out. <laughs> That's so wild to open the door right this way, me lady. Oh, you know what? I was already gonna fuck you. Like, Jesus, hey, I was trying to be a gentleman. But her <laughs> telling me that took some of the pressure off. I was like, oh, okay, well, what's it? Got in the car, turned on some Joe Gotti for her, made her feel comfortable. <laughs> She hopped in the car like Dukes of Hazard. <laughs> she don't nobody open her door. She go run and start and just jump in the car. <laughs> I threw on that Yo Gotti so fast. What up, three six? No, you don't like me. I was, I was, I was with her. I was right with her. So, but yeah, that that the conversation was flash. It was. Yeah, that does make a difference. Never I went on this, this date once with this guy. I don't even know how I met him. I feel like it was almost a blind date situation, but. I don't really remember, but I remember we went on this date. I met him at this restaurant. It was nothing like, it was like a Chili's. It wasn't even nothing fancy, not a fancy restaurant. We we sit down and like, I hate it when I have a conversation with somebody. And if I ask you something and you answer it, what's the next step? You then ask something of me, right? Or, or something until we get a flow going. This guy literally answered every question and just like sat there and I was like, oh. Okay. And then he ordered a salad for dinner. And I was like, first of all, he was like, he was heavy and he ordered a salad. And I was just like, I don't know, good and whatever, not what you eat. But I, but no, but I'm saying, but like, I could tell, it was like he was trying to impress me, like, oh, I eat salads. And I'm like, bro, you don't eat on salad. (laughs) So I, I just ordered whatever I wanted to order. And what I wanted to order happened to be the most expensive thing on the menu, which was like $25, right? But that's what I wanted to eat. And I always carry my own money with me so that nobody can, so I can, you know, live my life. And if you can't afford it, that's okay. I'll just pay for it myself. And it, we're, you're in the friend zone. So then he just, he looks at, he looks at what I ordered. He was like, oh, you gonna get that, huh? And I was like, yes, I am. Is that a problem? Was he in his 20s? Oh, it's, it's good, it's good. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, wait, just come back here. Can you, I, I just want a water. Just change change my drink. Oh, no. And I'm oh, like, man. and your meal was $25? Mm. Yeah, water probably went better with that salad anyway, though, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. you know, like, no salad. So he was no trying salad. to save money, and I was sitting here like, why did you take me on a date, bro? Like, right. I should have went to happy hour if he couldn't afford. <laughs> Thank you. Entree prices, I should have went to a happy hour and just got some tacos. And he was boring. I was like, uh-uh, never again, delete. 
What's up? What's worse, somebody with a dry conversation or somebody like like this the whole time y'all talking? Oh, I'm gonna leave you. I'm gonna leave you. I'm gonna oh leave the God. restaurant. I'll leave the restaurant. At I'm least gonna... drive. It seems like they're focused on you. They're just boring, you know. Yeah. But this kind of like that just looks. That's a bad look for everybody in the restaurant too. Yeah. It's just... Let that be a lesson, Kevin. That makes you look live your life like that. What'd you yeah. say, Max? Let that be a lesson, because you live your life like that with your phone in front of you. Not with my wife. Good. She don't really go, she don't really go for that. Did you? Did she have to get on your case about that at the beginning of this whole like cell phone thing? When cell phones started to pop. The funny thing, we we started dating. We didn't. Neither of us have phones, and obviously now we both do. Uh, I don't say at the beginning of the cell phone thing, but as technology advanced, you know, and more work was on my phone, that's when it happened. Probably the all deaf years when it really started. Because when I was working at the bank, there when you leave your job, your work is yeah. over and nobody's hitting you up. But all deaf was the first job I ever had that like, people would Went hit you up you. after work, emails, and like re would really expect you to answer <laughs> at like eight, nine o'clock. And you know, I was really, you know, trying to impress the bosses at first. And I really liked the work that I was doing anyway. So I would be on my phone all day, all night. So now we have to like, Put it, like we went to dinner last night and I was just like, no phone. But now the phone, the, the, the uh, menus are on the phone. You got to yeah. like scan the thing and then you got to look on the phone to to check your menu out. So when you yeah. order, then you just go over to Instagram and be feeling like a habit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But no, I don't, she don't really go for that. So when we're like doing dedicated time together or talking, I'd be like, let me put this phone down because she ain't not going to go for that. <laughs> I'm not scared of her. Should you not? <laughs> it's good, brother. It's good, man. Yeah, did you go straight from the bank to all deaf, or did you have like a period of time where you weren't working for anybody? No, nah, I got when I when I moved, I left Boeing and moved here. And we moved here in March of 2013. And I worked, you know, freelance and did my own YouTube stuff and stand up until I got the job at All Deaf in September of 2014. The next year. Yeah, it's about like a year and a half of like trying to make it. That's when you were at Awesomeness. That was when I was at Awesomeness with Tracy Edmonds. Uh, Awesomeness. And, uh, I remember that. I remember that. You remember that, Sid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Kev, you know what's crazy about me? Like I remember meeting you at All Deaf, and you know you being funny and all that stuff was cool. But then somebody said Kev used to play basketball, and from then on, I was like. Yeah, he cool. I was like, you used to play basketball? And you was like, yeah. I was like, in college? He was like, yeah. I was like, that's what's up. And then from there, I was like, Kev, cool. Didn't he could have been a murderer. I was like, but he hooped. I thought black <laughs> men are. You hoop with, it's, it's, it's a different level of cool. Once it's like, you, this wasn't you, your original you, dream either. All right, cool. <laughs> once you find a connection with, with, with a black man like that you connected with, like, man, it's a, yeah. like like uh, Tank, uh, Marcus, who was Angel's husband. Like, we were cool even before I met Angel. But when I found out he was into old school and he had an old school, I was like, oh, that's my nigga. That's right. <laughs> immediately. <laughs> immediately he became one of my besties. We be going cruising. Always, yeah. Always <laughs> told her. Y'all be just like and, and talking about your cars, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and hanging TVs on the wall. That, Marcus is crafty. Marcus can literally do just about anything. He came over to the crib. We just cracked open a bottle of whiskey and then he hung my TV. Oh, I was oh like, yeah, that was one of the comedy shows where y'all just, oh, everybody went to your house and just had drinks and cake. And then other people who were your friends didn't get invited at all, huh? Wasn't that a couple of weeks ago? That was, Kevin, uh, but you know why? You yeah, know why? People, because yeah, people in right? this complex? I live in the complex. I wasn't even invited. I live. <laughs> and you had a whole party? Okay, let me address each infraction. As it came. You guys can't build stuff. It was a building party. Infraction, Tom. That's what I Go said. Ahead. Here's the thing, Kevin. We didn't invite you because we knew it was almost at your bedtime, and two, there was going to be cake, and we didn't want another cake gate to happen. <laughs> <in the party>. <laughs> 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 they didn't invite him because of the cake? No, 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 no not Kevin, not Kevin. Yeah, not yeah, Kevin. yeah. Kevin was sneaking there <laughs> and stay on top of any cake ever, OK? And Sydney, it was past. Hours. I didn't. I didn't want to get you in trouble with the missus and be like, "Yo, come outside." And she'd be like, "Wait, where the fuck you going?" Say, "I don't know her." So I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. He didn't, I didn't even give you an opportunity, Sid. Sid You're here. a bird. We don't get along. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> hey, call me anytime. <laughs> hey, listen. Me and Sid are old men. We literally will meet up and go walk to Ralph's together and then go grab coffee or some fish and come right back. Old stuff. I wait on you. You by the pool? I wait on you. You by the pool? I wait on you. It's a casual stroll we go to. We have on track pants and old t-shirts. Just walk in. I have a coffee in hand. Like, yeah. I You start calling your wife the old ball and chain. You know the old ball and chain making gross together. The old ball. Hey, when you guys walk, do you do this? <laughs> I do have the sip of coffee. At the, yeah, absolutely. Gotta get all the flavors. We were walking. Wait, we were, why do old people always do that? Get all that flavor <laughs> out, man. Gotta get all of that savor. <laughs> out of what? Their dentures? It don't matter. Oh, the last matter. Day. We were <laughs> just the life. Like, past, life. It's like the young Armenian kids, they get their car, they be zipping up up and down the street. We be like, look at these fools. Just driving off, Food. running them up man. and down this street. You see that? Ain't got no home training. <laughs> man. Young man, are you voting? Make sure you, you use your voice. <laughs> Make sure you use your voice. <laughs> There's no reason we should have on belts with our track pants, but we do. <laughs> we do. Yeah, you sleepy? You get enough sleep? You sleepy? Uh, Let's yeah, put it to a vote. I, I, I'm tired. Let's just put it to a vote. Stay up the last uh, night. It's like, midday, midday. Shut up, man. Um... <laughs> Let's go to commercial. Up late arguing about MC. Me and my wife was up late arguing about MC Hammer. That's why I'm tired. And then MC Hammer late? commented on the post too. Man, that's that was crazy. I, that's crazy. That was the first crazy. time in my life to hear I won a marriage argument fair and square because the person in question agreed with me. I didn't even know he was on Instagram. I was like, this is great. Who side were you on? Huh? Who side were you on? I was Michael. on the side that MC Hammer at no point in his career was bigger than Michael Jackson. And MC Hammer came in Instagram and was like, you're right. Michael mm -hmm. Jackson was the king. Kev, it's like, you can't, it's like, it's so weird. Like your your opinions about people you used to look, look up to, like once you drop them online, it's like, they're in that conversation now. No, <laughs> he'd be like, I'm not used to that, bro. I never in a million years would have thought that. Kev, it's not what's on Kev tweeted like I don't like Sprite, and then Sprite Corporation came and was like, "What do you mean, Kev? We can make it right." I was like, Damn, <laughs> yeah, that's not you, got, you got you got pulled, dog. You just right. said you don't like Sprite, and it was oh, like, "That's right." Y'all know, y'all know who Uncle Sam is. I don't ever want to see you again, right? Y'all, y'all heard the song? I never wanna, yep. So I ran. You never heard that man? That's nineties R and B. Tell I, I, I me why it have to be my best friend. You was messing around with anyway. Uh, it's one of my favorite yeah. 90s R&B songs. So I put on Facebook like, man, I, I wonder what Uncle Sam is up to, man. I love that. He commented like, hey, man, I'm working on new music. I was like, really? <laughs> you like, no, you should have said, no, you, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I, 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 he had that one single that was dope. I, I remember that. That was a hit. I remember that song. Oh, my bad. I didn't mean to do that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's so funny for him to be like, no, I'm still here. I'm still around. What's up with you? You want collab? You want collab? Sub tweet. I like that. Yeah. All right, so let's put it to a vote. Back. What's worse, being left on red versus a dry conversation? I got dry conversation. Dry conversation. Dry. I'm going to go with dry too. I'm going to say dry conversation. Oh, you know? unanimous in this thing. There it is. Uh, dry conversation takes the W on that one. Ladies and gentlemen, that's been another episode of Squadcast. Thank you guys so much for watching. Want to thank our special guest, Sydney Castile, uh, for, for for jumping in. Sydney, you got a lot of stuff going on, right? What, what you got coming up, man? Yeah, you know, just married life. Cool. All right, guys. So, uh, <laughs> that's it? Sure that's all you got? I don't like talking about nothing because then something don't come out and then you look silly. So I always wait. If you don't read about it, I ain't doing nothing. I'm just saying. There you here. go. You'll see it on <laughs> deadline is what he's saying. Uh, thank you to everybody that submits your uh, suggestions to my Instagram inbox uh, or Instagram DM, however y'all want to say it. I appreciate that. Thank you. And we'll see you next week on another episode of Squadcast Versus.